Okay guys, so sorry about the uh, the previous video that I put up for the last one. It's a little bit cut off. So let's finish the last one for the cylindrical shell method. Okay. So this one, again, so we want to sketch the graph for the function first. So sketching the graph, so we do have root x plus 1. So that means it's up 1 here. So it's a radical. And then y equals 1, so y equals 1, which is bounded here. And then y equals 4, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, it's all the way over here. And then it's revolving around x equals 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so the revolution axis. Okay, like that. One thing that we notice, so this one it's always considered parallel, the indicator. So the indicator would be coming from... Okay, so this one, try to extend it all the way through. So the indicator would be this one right here, which is dx. So dx, everything is already written in terms of x, that's good. Okay, so that's what we got so far. But one thing you need to watch out here, it's about the radius. So how do we find r of x? So the way to find r of x, we do know that this one is 5. So we need to find out the distance right between the uh, the line and the curve right here. The line, the curve right there, so the distance right between, can that be the radius? So that would be found by using 5 minus x. So radius, 5 minus x. And then what about for uh, h of x? So h of x, basically we're just using the original function. But the things that we need to find out the boundary, instead of going from 1 to 4 sideways, we're going from this to this position here. So plug in 1 for y, and then we solve for x, because we want to find out the boundary, the value of a. Subtract 1, so we got 0, so x is 0. So for the lower bound, a equals 0. And then for the upper bound, we said y equals 4. So solve for x, subtract 1. Square both sides, so we got x equals 9, so it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's all the way over here. So that's the point where it intersects, okay, the lower bound, the upper bound. So this one is integral from 0 to 9 times 2 pi. So the radius that we found, which is 5 minus x, because that's a gap right between the revolution axis and the space right here. And then times the original radius which is r of x plus 1. And then the rest of this, you try to integrate it, that's fine. So let's do it if you want to. So 2 pi, integral from 0 to 9. So distribute, so we do have 5 root x uh, plus 5 minus x root x and then minus, minus x because negative x times 1. So this one we can just rewrite it, so 2 pi, 0 to 9, 5x to the power 1 half, plus 5, minus, this one's x to the first power, x to the power 1 half, so x to the power 3 half, minus x. So 2 pi, integral from 0 to 9, well this one can integrate it, so 5x to the power of, f 1 here, so we got 3 half, divided by 3 half, so multiply by 2 thirds. Okay, so which is 10 over 3. And then plus 5x minus x to the power at 1. So we do have 2 over 2, 5 half, divided by 5 half, so multiply by 2 fifth. And then minus x squared over 2. Okay, so this one, it's bounded from 0 to 9. Again, this one is just a setup. Evaluate it. So this one just plug in 9, so there's no need to plug in 0 because everything turns out to be nothing. So 2 pi, so 10 third times 9 to the power of 3 half, minus 5 times 9, 45, minus 2 fifth, times 9 to the power of 5 half, we'll deal with those later, minus 1 half times 9 square. Okay, so again, no need to plug in 0 because that turns out to be nothing. And then this whole quantity times 2 pi, so we got 2 pi times the quantity of 10 third, 9 to the power of 3 halves, so which is 27, 27 times 10 third, so 3 goes into 27 9 times, so 9 times 10, which is 90, 
plus 45 minus, so 2 over 5 times, well this one turns out to be 3 to the power of 5, so 27 times 9, so 81 times 3, which is 243, minus 1 half, uh, 81 over 2, you can put it that way. And then the rest of this just combine the like terms. So 90 plus 45. So then that will be considered 135. So nothing we can reduce here. So multiply them straight across. So 2 times 243. So 480. No, 400. Yeah, that's right. 486. Over 5. Minus 81 over 2. And then the rest of that, just find the common denominator, and then put them all together, okay? So that's it. So that's uh, three part of uh, 6.3 for calculus. So this one's a little bit difficult, especially the way you set up the, the integrand, everything else, and then f of tc part two, okay? So thank you for watching the video today, and then I'll see you next time.